I guess I've... I guess I've always been a dreamer. But I think... I think everyone is. See, since before I can remember, I've had two passions. Golf and fitness. If I wasn't in the gym, I was on the course. People would always ask me, which one are you going to pick? I'd smile and say, why do I have to choose? I love them both. And I had a dream to marry the two. I knew I was going to have to commit my very being to my dream. I was going to have to breathe it. I was going to have to sleep it. I was going to have to eat it. And every day, every day that I woke up, that became an opportunity to make my dream become a reality. So I packed up my car. I followed the golf circuit, hoping somebody would give me a chance. Asked a lot of guys. <laughs> Got rejected a lot. Eh, it allowed me to get knocked down, get a little bruised ego, and it made me decide if this is what I wanted to do. If this is what I wanted to do, I was going to have to push through it. So I slept in my car. When it was cold, I turned the heat on. When it was hot, I turned the air conditioning on. Rain was never an issue. I always had shelter. See, I always knew I'd be okay. If I had a Walmart parking lot or a rest area or a hotel parking lot, I was good to go. I got to know a few players. I kept persisting. I kept pushing. I kept brushing my teeth in my car, showering at YMCA gyms. I'd go out to a town I'd never been before, and I'd ask if I could get a gym pass, tell them I knew the area, and they'd grant me that pass. And that's where I would shower and shave and clean up. I'd spend my mornings going to the gym, working out, then going to the golf course, first one there, work until my player got there. After my player left, I'd work some more. Kays would say to me, don't you want to just give up? Don't you ever want to quit? I, I, I don't. If you believe you can get somewhere, you can get there. You only need a few feet ahead of you. You don't need this grand vision. Just take a couple steps. I promise you, step after step after step after step will lead you to your location. It's nothing more than a map quest for life. And I kept making connections. I just did my best to, to be the best person I could be for my golfer. Didn't matter what it was. Just be the best for them. Make them the best. Bring out the best in them. And that led me to my job with Bubba. And I couldn't ask for a better boss. When I first met him, he was 72nd in the world. I really didn't know much about him. I knew he could curve the ball. I knew he could hit it far. But I didn't know much about him as a person. He wasn't a top 10 player. And after three years and a lot of hard work and sweat equity, as some of my friends say, he is. How far? We've all come. You know, after Bubba won the Masters, he said, I never dreamt this far. Well, I did. I did dream this far.